Hello everybody, welcome to another Arch Demon Gaming video, and today we're going to be taking a look at my survival ship. This is the basic ship design that I'll be using in survival mode on Lucy Player. That is not supposed to be there. So, this is the basic ship design that I'll be using in survival mode to player, it's specifically built on the cost of the major amounts that a ship normally, normally this size would take. It uses two large reactors, which is probably going to be very expensive, but it's a long-term ship, not a ship that you're just going to get right at the start. It's a ship you're going to have to work for. And here it is. It's called the Triumvirate. And the basic ship design is inspired by the Loki on EVE Online. It probably looks nothing like it, but that's what I was looking at when I made this basic design. Not, I didn't copy it, but certain elements of the ship are similar to the Loki. Give you a basic tour around the outside of the ship. There are, I think, five main thrusters on the back, large thrusters. Six thrusters, small thrusters there. There are two little small thrusters on each side of the ship. Three small thrusters on each right and left side of the ship. On the bottom there is one large thruster and six small thrusters. On the top there is one large thruster, three small thrusters. On the front there are two large thrusters to stop the ship. Correction, one large thruster, five small thrusters. There are three miss four missile turns on the front, two Gatling turns facing the front of the ship towards the right side of the ship facing the front. There is three Gatling turns, same as the other side, and on the back there are four Gatling turns. Let's go around for another flyby and take a look at the ship. Remember, this is going to be my survival build. It's going to be what I'll be using in survival and multiplayer maps. The basic layout of this ship. It's a particularly move. Uh, it moves pretty well, considering the lack of thrusters that it has. And it only uses it uses about 80% power. So I think I can add a few more things on. But I randomly hit 101% power when using the bottom thrusters combined with the back thrusters for some reason. Ramp up into the ship. This is basically a cargo ramp, or not really a ramp, but a staircase to get up into the ship. And there's, this is the only accessible point of the ship. The only way to get into the ship is through the back, the bridge in the front of the ship. Now there are two turns here to protect this, to protect this doorway if need be. Come down into here. There are two reactors and two large storage containers for supplies. Yeah, these are used to supply to um, store fuel that can be used for the reactors, I'm guessing, and if they allow fuel to be stored in these, then that will be its purpose. There are two guns here to protect this main entrance way, this hallway here. Actually, you know, I'm going to edit something real quick. Close this off to make it seem more cramped. I'm trying to make this ship seem as cramped as possible. I think I can't. I, I think I'll be able to add a few more areas in the ship, but not very many. This ship is extremely reinforced. There's at least two layers, three layers, and some parts of light armor on the uh, protecting from the outside of the ship, which means that there is a lot of protection, with the exception of this room. This room is not very protected. Uh, in terms of armor thickness, I should uh, probably fix that, but that would require an entire model change in this entire area of the ship. In fact, I'm going to change this right now to black so it matches the side. Down here. 
And I've been thinking if they ever add, uh, if they ever add, uh, whenever they add it to where you can turn gravity generators on or off and add an electrical system, I will probably make a gravity generator in the back that is built to turn on by flip of a uh, switch or something that is facing upward instead of downward, which will make anyway in this room fly up toward the ceiling, which will make it to where they need to use a jetpack to get into this room as a protective measure. Here's emergency reactors for backup power. They don't get generate enough power to run the ship, but they generate enough power to run its systems. So, if the two reactors in the back are taken out, then the ship will be unable to move, but these reactors will still power the initial systems of the ship, like the weapons and, and uh, other stuff of that nature. How many gyros we got in here? Because the ship, this ship is not turned very well. This ship weighs approximately 3 million. 600,000 uh, kilos. Here's a supply area to put weapons, armor, ammunition, fuel, anything in here. I've been thinking, I've been having an idea that if mines, uh, if they can be set down in your ship without activating them, and then when they, when they release, they can be independently activated. I've been thinking of adding like a little hatch somewhere around here that has a bunch of mines in it and when the ship's moving you can like release the hatch and all the mines will fly out the back of the ship just in case anybody's chasing you and uh, then there'll be a minefield in his face I've been needing to do this up here to add a protected, a protected area a point to shoot down into the into the area down there As you can see, there is a lot of surrounding points up here to basically box the enemy in. This bottom area is built to where the enemy will be boxed in completely if they come in there, and it will be basically a slaughterhouse. This is just a kill zone. This is built to be a kill zone for the enemy. Oh, and there's the backup piloting station, just in case the bridge gets taken out. It's right here. Not the best of places, but it's the only place I can put it for now. It is strategically placed, though. It is in the exact middle of the ship, which is probably the area that will be least damaged in attack. And up here is the main bridge. You got guns here to protect these two sides. There are no guns up front, though. I've been thinking I need to add them. But. Yeah, here we go. Let's add a gun in right here. This will probably be useful. To protect this corridor. As you can see here, the ship specs is 3,136 gigawatts of power. And its mass is 3,700,000 kilograms. It has 35 thrusters and 21 gyroscopes, although that sounds like it's not a lot, it actually works. Now, it doesn't have a lot of rotation speed, but it will move. The ship is built for survival. It's, it's a pretty beefy ship. It, it does not get destroyed very easily. But I cannot base any of my decisions yet to be final because I do not know how much damage the guns do and once I am able to test that then I'll be able to further adapt the ship to withstand enemy bombardments well that's it guys the download link will be in the description of the map which is the uh, which is the Pikeman station and actually, before we conclude this, I'm going to actually give you guys a tour of Pikeman Station to show you guys what's on this map. As you can see here, this is the uh, roof of what will be the mess hall area when tables are added, and the supply area, armory, and everything. That's 
what this is going to be whenever they add all that stuff, if they do. There's four missile turrets, or th two missile turrets on top of this platform, and the way down and onto this platform is a ladder located right here, which you saw me walk up in the beginning of the video. And then you walk down this hallway, and on the right will be the mess hall area, which is right here. And as you can see on the triumvirate, the docking system is built on the back of the ship as you back up onto the dock, which will give the ramp access to whatever it docks onto. I've been thinking of putting a docking system on the front for uh, offensive purposes so you can latch onto the enemy ship, which will increase his ship's mass, hopefully, and make it to where his ship can't move. Basically, wait, make your ship an anchor, and then have people get on the top of the ship with a ramp that I'm planning on adding to get onto the top of the ship, where there will be an uh, area where they can stand up there with magnetic boots if they add those, and uh, shoot the enemy ship or board the enemy ship from the top of the ship. As you can see here, this is the hangar area where all the smaller ships come in. You can actually fly a smaller ship in through there and land it in here for maintenance and then turn it around and fly it back out. This is the default ships. I've been needing to move these out of here. We're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and land it right here against the wall. Try not to hit anything. There we go. Now that they're out of the way, I can probably uh, build some new things in there. This is basically a size thing. You know, all the ships I built in here are this size. Very tight fit though, not up and down but forward and backwards to the front. As you can see there is like barely any space between these engines and the wall. I had a slight problem with building this hangar though, I did not see this part of the asteroid here as becoming a problem so it kind of looks weird. I don't know, I kind of like it but it does look kind of weird for the hangar. And up in through here is one of the first things I built on this map is a way is a uh, way from the this is actually the central the uh, this is actually a modified version of the uh, pad that they give you in one of the uh, quick starts. Basically, I took the pad and I just built onto it and turned it into this. And uh, then I built this off, leading up to a main control tower area that controls the entire space station. I've been needing to add an observatory and a refinery, but uh, I've had some problems with that, and I'll probably get back to it here later. There are four missile turrets on top of this tower with three Gatling turrets to protect the control tower. There are antennas on top of the control tower, whatever their use will be in the future, I do not know. And this is the main control tower. Here's the ladder to get up, we're not going to take that. And here you go. You got. You got six reactors in here and control the terminals as well with the gravity generator. So it's uh it's just a control tower, yeah. But I don't know what you'll be able to do with the stations in the future, but I'm hoping they had a lot of features that allow you to control your station from those terminals. And that is that's about it, that's it. 
besides these turns right here, the gym tech this hangar area, and the turns up on top of here. ships of getting into the hangar because another ship could theoretically fit on top of that right there or crash into that and, abort. and a invasion party could storm that hangar pretty easily although I have not added very many defensible positions inside the station inside the main hangar area here going on here that is not supposed to be like that. Wrong fucking button. Fail. Alright. Now, um, here over this direction is uh, a few gravity... Oh, that's bad. Anyways, we're going to cut it off here now, guys. Thanks for watching. And the uh, download description will be in the video link. So you guys can download it. I'll see you next time on our next video. Which will be of the Archon, my large ship. It is massive. It's so massive that it literally crashes the game. Yeah, I think it's about 300 blocks long, which is like... I think that's 600, 700 meters long. About, about a kilometer long. A very long ship. I haven't really done much to it though because I'm waiting until they add more things to seriously add a lot of stuff to the ship because this ship needs a lot of things. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. The ship that I'll be showing you next time is not practical for survival. Maybe. It would literally take you a year to get the materials for that, for the ship that I'm talking about. This is Archdemon Gaming signing off.